Vaping has suddenly been in the news because there's been more than 450 cases of acute lung injury reported to the CDC, as well as over five deaths. All of these cases that have been reported have been associated with vaping products. Vaping has often been described as a safer form of cigarettes. Instead of combusting the cigarettes, we're heating it, we're not burning it. But in reality, many studies have shown that the vaping um, mechanism and the inhalation process is not safe. Nicotine is mixed with other solvents. There's heavy metals, and some use mineral-based, oil-based, water-based products, things that we shouldn't be inhaling. And we know very little about uh, the mechanisms of these lung injuries that they potentially can cause. One in five high school students vape or use e-cigarettes. 3.6 million Americans are uh, using vaping products. The FDA has failed to protect our kids in not regulating these products, allowing them to be on the market, allowing flavorings. So we see Michigan who has banned flavorings in e-cigarettes. We see San Francisco that has banned e-cigarettes. This is part of the advocacy that's being done statewide. We need to do it nationwide and we need to do it locally.